All right, welcome back. So we're going to be turning these IBC totes into chicken cages. And the first step after you buy your IBCs is every IBC has two crossbars um, that hold the plastic bottle inside the tote. And the plastic bottle has a, uh, a round, uh, two round holes that the bars go through. And older model totes generally have a Phillips, require a Phillips head screwdriver to uh, unscrew the bars. But these here have a, uh, um, a, different me a different bolt. And it's kind of like an Allen wrench, but it's like a little six star. Uh, I, I can't remember what they called them. But anyway, so just check before you buy your totes what model... Uh, um, requires different kind of a screw or whatever to, to open it up. So, basically what we do is we're going to pull it up, pull both out. And that's them. What I'm going to do later is I'm going to see about actually reusing one of these for the roost inside the uh, tote once it's finished and turned into a, a chicken coop. So save on to these, save your uh, bolts, and uh, they can be reused. If nothing else, they can be recycled so or used for another project. So you definitely want to hold on to them. But we're going to take a... Take them out. I've got four totes, so I'm going to take out all four of these. Next step, what we're going to do is I actually bought these. These are uh, oven grates. Um, and I'm going to use these for the doors. I bought these at a, at a, what are they called? Habitat for Humanity. And so I got these for like two bucks a piece, real cheap very sturdy super strong I'm gonna use these for the doors and so what I figured out is I'm going to cut out this section of metal and then plastic and then I'm gonna attach this door on the outside and this way predator wise I mean nothing's gonna get into it because first off you know hard plastic this is super strong and what I could then do is I can cut out from here for uh, like a rabbit feeder if I need to. I could put in a, a, a water system um, externally so they have the optimum amount of floor space inside. And this is going to be a very tanky uh, cage that I'll put my breeders in. So that's the plan. Um, $25 for the tote, $2 for these, for this. I'm going to have a couple of uh, uh, hinges, I, I'm gonna use, some I'm going to use for hinges that cost me like about a buck a piece. So all told, I'm, without count, counting feeders or waters, it's going to be like about a $30 cage. Can't really beat it. And this will keep my, uh, my, my breeder birds uh, hopefully extremely predator proof. Uh, the only thing I would have any issue with would maybe be snakes. Um, just because, but all of my two and four legged predators, uh, this should, should do the trick. I don't have bears or anything, but even, uh, bears I don't think could really get through this. So anyways, uh, we'll get back to work. All right. Welcome back. So after removing these from the top of the IBC tote, we took a marker and we marked the door frame. Uh, on the plastic we remove the bottle and cut the the door out after which we then took a sawzall and cut this here out of the cage to leave this opening now what we've done is I wired off the for the door and so as you can see it's very very strong and sturdy 
nothing's going to push in to get to them. And I just wired it off for now. Um, it can open up, open up and then shut, of course. Then what I can do is later on, I can take a, a rabbit gravity feeders and I can cut a couple of bars to insert a feeder if necessary. Um, or you could use some other uh, feeding system, either uh, plastic cups that hook on to the grating or what, whatever. Lastly, what's an option is A, you can leave this as is. You can fill the inside of the tote with uh, uh, hay or straw or some kind of bedding. Um, you could actually fill it probably up to like six or seven inches, maybe even a little bit more, and up to the bottom of the, the bottom lip. And what I really like about them is it, it's very, it helps keep the heat in in the winter. It keeps the wind out, keeps the rain out. Of course, you're going to put your uh, the IBC totes come with a lid. Lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and with the uh, bolts that came with it, I'm going to actually drill two holes, probably about, about this level on opposite sides of the tank and I'm actually going to bolt this and use this as a roof uh, as a roost for the chickens and that way uh, as you can see if you can imagine the birds are inside the cage they'll hop up to this height so they'll have uh, quite a bit of uh, space roosters normally when they wake up they like to flap their wings and crow so they'll have some room to, to flap their wings and this will be a, a decent roost. We'll give it a shot. Uh, I prefer to use metal or PVC or any kind of plastic for roost because wood, you know, they can get the uh, leg mites potentially. So, yeah, from the wood. And uh, so, anyways, these are them. It's not, of course, completed, but it gives you, gives you the idea. It's roughly uh, three and a half feet by four feet. Uh, floor dimensions so you know the general rule of thumb they say is three square feet of a bird but you know the more the better of course so I'll, I'll put trios my breeding trios in here and that way I'll keep them uh, safe through the winter months from predators and that's a very uh, very sturdy system like I said earlier only gonna cost me about 30 bucks worth of materials. Um, obviously, depending on where you're at, you might uh, uh, might cost a bit more in, uh, for the IBC totes. But if you buy them in bulk or whatever, you can get them generally for a good price. And that's them. So, hope this helps. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as always. And I'll see you next time.